Hey y'all, today we're gonna be working with this board, this super cute napkin, a flat canvas, and this scrapbook paper. We're gonna make a Halloween craft. I found these garlands at Dollar General. Aren't they adorable? Love them. Okay, so my scrapbook paper, of course, wasn't the exact size for, size for my board, so I had to cut it and then sort of piece it together. And that's what I'm doing here, just putting my adhesive down and getting it all on there. I do dry it here and there just to make sure it's adhering well. Now I'm putting the second piece on. And I'm Wendy from Wendy's Adventures Rosebrook Boutique. Welcome, y'all. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm using a fingernail file here to get the edges off, but normally I would use a stronger grit sandpaper, but I didn't have one with me on my craft table. I'm at home. Um, so I just had to use what I could. I'm just getting my flat canvas out here. We're going to Mod Podge the napkin on there. You want to figure out which one, which, what are you going to use? I used a little square of it. I just sort of get a little bit of adhesive on my finger and I pull the back plies off. This one was a two ply, but they both came off together. Score. Again, putting the adhesive down on my surface. And with a napkin, you want to be careful. You don't want to do a lot of rubbing. So I found this little bristle brush. And I'm just sort of patting around to just get it adhered good. And then I'm just going back around the edges. And of course, you need to dry all your steps. Again, with a fingernail file, just getting the excess off. And of course, the napkin was not as big as the flat canvas. So I'm using, I'm cutting up this piece of uh, ribbon that I have. It was a check ribbon. I thought it looked really cute. And I'm just going to adhere it down all the way around. Sort of frame out the napkin. Using my little finger protection because um, the ribbon has little holes in it. So, whoop. <laughs> I got myself there. So, just be careful when you're using hot glue. So I cut one of the garlands up, the black and orange one, and wanted to do the little pom-pom detail. Even though I, you know, pieced my paper together, I still could see that line. So I'm just trying to take your eye off of the line and onto the pom-poms, right? And I think it turned out super cute. I'm just adhering it down here. And I would love a follow. Y'all come on over to my page we do crafts, we show boutique items. I would love to have y'all. This, I'm just adhering the flat canvas down. I did later add a hanger, but isn't that adorable? Love, love, love it. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.